What is up guys, Aeroff Mora here, back again with another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Deadpool wave. Deadpool himself. Build-A-Figure, Sasquatch. So let's get into it. So, taking a look around the packaging on the top, we got a nice Deadpool logo, same thing, Deadpool everywhere, on the back, Deadpool again, a description, pause, and other figures, pause, he's currently number one without any build a figure, UPC, you can't scan it because it's ruined, but I bet you this figure won't be hard to find, so let's get into it. Doing a size comparison, here is Deadpool next to Human Torch, um, what is his name, King Cobra, Iron Spider, Captain America, X Nilo, and Hulk. For Deadpool's accessories, he comes with two katanas. Now these katanas are pretty short compared to the last one, they're kind of like in between, so they're like a medium sized katana, wish they added some dry brushing, got some nice sculpted detail on the handle here. Kind of a muted blue and it's made out of this uh, durable plastic it's kind of bendable and it feels like it's going to snap on you and it could snap on you so be careful on that and you could just put it on the back of his little sheath here and depending on the orientation sometimes it kind of goes in sideways so you just have to like wiggle it and fiddle it in just like so So, taking a look at Deadpool, just without everything on him, really like this classic design and really like the body mold that they use for this guy. Uh, it's not too slim or it's not too bulky, it's in the middle. His legs here look a little bit too beefy, so I guess he didn't skip leg day for sure, but just articulating, it's kind of loose in the calf area and the butterfly joints, but nonetheless, nice, nice articulation, kind of solid figure, pretty solid figure, yeah. And looking down here at the straps, these are the straps that you cannot remove unless you cut the thing off with the X-Acto knife or do some surgery or some other trickery. But putting everything back on, his pouches here go on his left leg and fit snugly like so. And he has some uh, straps here on the wrist which go on the left and the right like so. Now popping off his head he also has the sheath which go through his arms, you wrap around that, you peg in right there, there's a uh, peg hole right there and there's a little peg on the um, pouch itself and then uh, loop it on to his neck right there and putting on the choker which I thought was a choker but it sit up too high on his neck so I assumed it was a choker so I just moved that down to his collarbone and popping back the head, there is Deadpool. Sorry if it was too long, but we could take a closer look at Deadpool starting off with this head sculpt. I really do like this head sculpt. It reminds me of the classic Deadpool without the little little tail thing, his little nub on his um, back of his head here. Uh, you can see some of the wrinkles in the head look kind of weird, which uh, it's kind of unfortunate. And you can see the choker here. Which I said before, I thought when I got out of packaging, it was up here and I thought it was a choker. I don't know why. So I just looked at the box art and moved it down where it's supposed to be near the collarbone. So yeah, just looking around, here's his sheath. I really like how it's like in an X position and not just on the sides like X-Force Deadpool or the original Deadpool, I believe. So I really like that. You can see his pouches here see how they tab into each other it's really well hidden it's kind of hard to peg in because it's kind of a big peg and a kind of a thin um, hole material uh, plasticky material but yeah it's um, holds together uh, quite well you can see his hands here straps right there you can see his Deadpool um, logo right there and more straps just this kind of a grayish blue plastic kind of a muted um, blue here uh, but it is consistent throughout his straps here uh, okay yep this is Deadpool so we're just gonna look at that um, so it's consistent colors throughout okay now he's a uh, booty shaking but yeah you can see his Deadpool but oh my gosh why am I doing this 
Okay, now moving down to his uh, legs here. See his straps here, they move up and down. He does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Nice, and it says 2016, so did they make this mold in 2016? I don't know. I don't know why I got it so late, but looking over his articulation here, his head does rotate all the way around. It looks up that far, which is okay, and down that much. I'll just show that angle. Doesn't have the tilty shifty head movement there, but his arms do rotate all the way around. They go out that far. You could push it even higher if you want to, but that's as far as I would go. And he does have the butterfly joints, which go back that far, right there, which is pretty good for a Deadpool figure, and forward that much. And uh, he has a bicep swivel double jointed elbows which bend at 90 degrees which is quite unfortunate his wrist here they do rotate all the way around they bend up that far which is mm, okay but down that much which is pretty good and his chest here he bends forward that far so he can imitate an old man and back that much which is okay and he also has a waist swivel which rotates all the way around and his uh, legs here can kick forward that far so he could sit down. And okay, calm down, air off. He also can't bend back that much. He also has a upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees right there, which don't look weird when they bend all the way. Upper, th um, oh, boot rotation, feet bend down that far, up that much right there. And sometimes the uh, little uh, uh, ankle pieces get in the way. But he has an ankle pivot. And doing the ankle pivot test, he's good to go. Holy crap, that was so long. I never talked for that long. Oh my gosh. Okay, next clip. Okay, thank you, Erof. Now this clip is showing me putting on the katanas into Deadpool's hands. There we go. Mm-hmm. And getting him to some cool pose, something dynamic, utilizing that angle pivot. It looks pretty sweet. Just wish that he came with some guns. Oh, speaking about guns, next clip. Yeah, I'm pretty much done with that uh, clip segment bit comedic timing. But yeah, um, right here I got some Punisher weapons from the um, Build-A-Figure uh, Man-Thing wave, so you can use those if you want to. It kind of fits well with the figure because I'm not more I'm not used to those kind of gray guns unless it was a Deagle, which I believe this is is the one that he has right now, or it's a M1911. I don't know. I'm not a gun expert. I don't know, but that uh, M16 carbon fiber grip with the grenade launcher looks pretty good on his left hand here. Or right hand, excuse me. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I just play a lot of video games. But yeah, you could see he looks pretty cool. Also, if you have some other alien type weapons, you can put the Star Lord Blaster. So just any type of weapon can fit on this figure. Uh, but with some weapons, they kind of make his hand a little bit loose. They kind of open it a little wider, so his katana here, he can't hold it as much. But just with a little push and a little pinching, um, he's good to go. So, taking a closer look at that. Nope, I'm not going to look there. Just looking around, starting off, just popping off the head here like so oh my gosh that color piece i wish they sculpted it on uh unlike painted it on because there's a difference because some figures some deadpool figures have these straps painted on it which looks terrible so i wish that they actually sculpted this little choker thing right there i'm just gonna call it a choker uh, in the uh, butterfly joints he is uh, oily in some areas like right there in the little seat you can see the little oily piece which kind of annoys me if you're taking photos but yeah you can see his abs here uh, the sculpt does not run uh, through like all the way through the joint but on the back it does you can see just moving this around here unpegging the um, little pouches here you can see the plastic how that runs through 
It looks like, I don't know, I guess they painted it. It looks like they took like a molded piece and molded it with the red plastic. It doesn't look painted. Um, yeah, so just pegging back uh, that on right there, which is a pain. So let me just fix that right there. Oh my gosh, are you done? Okay, I guess he's done. And uh, you can see these traps here. There's some red paint splotches right there, which kind of bothered me. I don't know if it's from the little strap areas, the little pouches here, but yeah, it's quite unfortunate. See right there. You can move all the way um, his straps to hide the joint and just moving the um, or the upper thigh swivel here and just moving the upper thigh swivel. It doesn't really um, uh, move it that much, but yeah, you can see his thighs here knee joint it's pretty basic right there it's cap rotation and the little strap here you can move the strap all the way down and still have free range so yeah you can do that if you want to so yeah there is Deadpool so yeah, that is it guys. Hope you guys like it. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Overall, I really do like this Deadpool figure. Even though I missed out on the very first uh, Marvel Legends Deadpool, it's pretty uh, it's pretty pricey online. It goes for like 30 bucks, which is $10 more, but I ain't paying for those extra accessories. This Deadpool figure is fine by me. The sculpting is great. Just the thigh area is just a little too a little bulky for me so I just slimmed that down um, but overall I like the body mold the articulation is great sometimes I wish Hasbro has stiff joints I'd rather have stiff joints than loose joints because the calves and the butterfly joints kind of make this figure hard to pose and get him proportionally uh, looking cool in these uh, action poses and I also got a flight stand right here the um, what is it called the uh, what is it sh figure arts yeah there you go sh figure arts stage four um yeah a stand right there so if you want to know that's the stand that i'm using but yeah that is it guys hope you guys like it air off more uh, sis is signing out peace Shoo.